I went to the motel uh, checkout counter to see what the rates were. And I guess like the person there was a person who had all the answers. It was like an older guy. I don't know. He's like in his 70s. He had one of those like golf hat things on. Um, but no, I, like if I were breaking down that social interaction, um, I'd say the first, it lasted about, let's say, what was it, like five minutes? I talked for five minutes. I'd say the first four minutes, um, every time I made eye contact with him, I felt uncomfortable. I didn't like it. Um, you know, I definitely had like a look, like a ghost look in my eye, because that's what, how you feel when you don't like making eye contact with people and you're not accustomed to doing it that often. Um, if you're not familiar with how that feels, then you, then you wouldn't know. Um, obviously, you have no clue how, what that's like. That's why I'm making this video. And then I'd say about the last minute of it, um, I kind of forced like eye contact past um, how I felt comfortable. And then I was able to hold it and, you know, just kind of like feel more, feel normal and not feel like, uh, it's almost like you feel like light beams at you in your eyes when you don't have eye contact that often. Um, it's like, uh, I'm trying to put the word, like a word to it. Um, it's like a discomfort. I don't know. It's like a discomforting energy from eye contact when you're not used to it. Um, and I'd say for the last minute, you know, after I forced the eye contact, um, you know, it was a lot easier to hold the eye contact and not like, generate like random facial expressions and stuff. Um, just have more control over my body language, more control over, you know, just directing the conversation. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a recap, like a firsthand perspective on this is like a video on anxiety, mental health, uh, maybe autism a little bit. Just trying to educate people a little. That's what I'm here for.